All right, guys, this is coming from ABC News straight up. This is from the horse's mouth inside the purge of tens of thousands of Ohio voters. I looked into this. About 144,000 voters in Ohio are going to be affected by this uh, so-called purge. It's come from ABC right from the horse's mouth, ladies and gentlemen. There's not much more I can do about this than tell you how this is going to happen. So... This is ABC News. Alright. Basically, last November, McCullough and his wife made their way to the local polling station southwest Ohio to cast ballots. As he attempted to exercise his right to a particular democratic process, a poll worker told him that he couldn't find his name in the voter registration list. That he was no longer registered ladies and gentlemen like that I had no idea that my voter registration could be canceled even if I did not move that's insane folks that's like super statist craziness I mean that's just for them to be able to cancel your voter registration that's an act of terrorism I mean that that is nothing anyone else can say but that Public policy organization Demos and the ACLU of Ohio, which have filed lawsuit against Ohio's top election official, John Husted, or Husted, is asking a court to stop purging process of going forward for other voters uh, to be reinstalled or reinstated ahead of the November 2016 election. Uh, the suit alleges that because so much attention is on the presidential race this year, as much of the numbers of infrequent Ohio voters will be denied the opportunity to cast a vote uh, that counts. Why? Probably because they're going to vote Trump, and they know it, and they're trying. This this is completely illegal, and this is happening in the United States, folks. I can't make this up. Look, it's by ABC News. There can be no genuine dispute that mere failure to vote of two years is not an unreasonable or faulty indicator that someone has changed an address. It is forbidden. The lawsuit basically says, and it basically starts off the purge. Basically starts as advocates say their voters uh, were incorrectly removed from the rolls or polls, whatever. You get the idea. The voter registration, folks. These people are perfectly eligible to vote. Legal Director of American Civil Liberties Union of Ohio. They've lived in the same house since they've been registered. They haven't moved. They haven't been convicted of felonies, and they didn't cancel their registration. Yet they're being purged, folks. I can't make this up. I am not making this up under any circumstances. All right, so according to this, starting from March 15th, a group of family called Lensons uh, say the registration had been canceled, affected about... 350 people, maybe Lenson is a uh, county, I don't know. Didn't really say here. Uh, basically, it said that 350 people across 10 counties in Ohio in the primary election have been affected. It's harder to know the statewide total because of each county has eight, or each of the 88 counties in Ohio manage their own voting records, which are not always publicly available. If you haven't voted in a four year period, we send a letter. If you continue to miss, next two federal elections, you'll be removed. You'll be purged from the voter polls, says Ben uh, Pistelli, the public information officer, Franklin County Board of Elections, based on Columbus. It keeps the size of the voter registration rolls current. Yeah, but these people who have been voting have now been finding out that more and more of them have been, have been purged that have been out voting. So this is about Trump versus Hillary and Hillary trying to win by purging the citizens. This is an completely illegal. Oh, they claim it's, you know, backed since the 1990s and 1993s, but this is what's going on, folks. And this is a big one, folks. According to Reuters, across Ohio's biggest cities, Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati, a total of 144,000 have been removed from the voter registration rolls from the Democratic-leaning neighborhoods were removed roughly twice as many at the rate of the Republican-leaning neighborhoods. So this is huge, folks. These people have committed no crime, and yet now they cannot vote. 
probably due to ideology alone. And they're not given any reason. Oh, they're going to say that it's, uh, you haven't voted in two years or something like that. But the reality is they probably voted last year and, oh, your name's gone. Sorry. Oh, well. I would be pur furious. This happened in Michigan. It would be done. That's all I'm going to say is it would be done. This is illegal, folks, and this is actually happening. Look at that number, 144,000 in Cleveland, Columbus, and Cincinnati alone, Republicans and Democrats alike. This is terrorism, folks. I mean, civil war or the revolution happened over, what, 4% tax? And 144,000 people have been removed from the voter registration in Ohio alone? Hey, tell you something, folks. If that 144,000 got together, you want to know what happened? They could, they could start some shit, folks. And they could take back this country, at least partly in Ohio. Thank you.